Pretty lucky for me, the wife said she was tired of the pomegranates not producing. So I bought some new ones. Actual, grafted, will make fruit pomegranates. There's a the neighbor dog, Tinky. Harmless. Anyways, I've got these ones. But you get to dig out in bonsai. So here are the new varieties that I'll be replacing my old seedlings. We have the Granada pomegranate from Dave Wilson. Thank you. Um, see, I don't know anything about these. Hello, Timber. So this one says it's a darker, uh, less tart sort of wonderful. Long lived, any soil can be grown as a bush or a tree. They'll probably say something similar. This is the, I'm gonna say Parfalinka. Uh, red sweet with a little acidity. Small edible seeds, very vigorous, I like that. High praise for flavor. Cool. Last one, the sweet. It even looks like it'll probably be a different color, it looks more orangey. Sweeter than one than wonderful. Maybe that's a variety. Uh, does better in cool summer climates. Well I don't got that. Got nuclear hot. Orangey red blossoms, that's cool. So maybe I'll take some cuttings off of these as well. Alright, so these are the new ones. I'll be uh digging out these three little bushy ones. They were uh, smaller than the ones I just showed you when I put them in about two years ago, maybe three years ago. That one ain't doing so hot. I will. They'll all be coming out. Anyways, I'm gonna get started. Dig in. Enjoy. Sorry for the filming as usual. Alright, so I got all the holes dug for the new pomegranates. Awesome wet clay soil, hard to dig in. Um, I want to show you one thing. When you're planting something, uh, I always always used to be told, plant it twice as deep, whatever. Incorrect, twice as wide as what you want, allows the roots to spread, you don't need anchor roots. So uh, I got my holes dug for those little guys. That's how big one of my holes is. That mix is uh, 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 sand, really fine diatomaceous earth, um, Lava rock, mini fir, compost, and um, perlite. It's loose, drains well, can hold moisture, hold nutrition, but it won't like bog it down. So I got my three holes. One, two, three. Third one's a little bit smaller. I got tired. So I just pulled them out of the uh, nursery tree pots. You can see how deep they are. But I wonder where the actual root flare trunk is. So I'm just gonna find the trunk side. Pulling it back, just like you're unpotting a bonsai. These are just getting planted to the ground, but the same principles apply. Plants don't like their uh, roots to be, or their uh, root flares to be buried for the most part. It's where you start getting lots of uh, fungal infections and stuff. They respirate through that little crown. So. First root flare, this one's only down, what, an inch and a half or so. Make sure these uh, tapes aren't too tight also. These tags have the, uh, the grafted names on them, so I'll leave those. And once again, pull them down, pull them down. Oh, I got so lucky, look at that. Roots are right there. Granted, pomegranates can root pretty much anywhere, but What it also means is I can cut these, spread these roots out, and lay them flat in, in those holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you what that looks like. So this is what I'm top dressing the pomegranates in. It's basically like a bonsai soil. It's DE for Mickey Light. The DE is the sandy looking stuff. Uh, it falls right through a window screening. Um, I bought it at a, uh, a farm supply store. Um, the lava rock, mini fur. So basically the bonsai soil. Um, it's just airy, allows good drainage. Um, I have drippers to all these, or I will, you can see them coiled up. 
right there during the summer. Free draining soil anyways. So underneath that, it'll just run right through. So I'm burying them. Then all this pine needle, oak leaf, hay, nasty mixture filled with uh, some dog provided fertilizer. Thank you, boys. Um, I'll just top dress it to help hold moisture and keep them from actually digging in it. But yeah, nice and loose. And uh, the roots are going to go right through that and grow and grow and grow. Then I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, at the end. So I just finished spreading the soil. I'm going to put some fertilizer on it before I top dress them. Alright, here we go. This is fertilizer organic. I'll show you the bag in a bit. Give it a little couple quick tosses of it. It's really hard to burn with organic stuff like this. Can be done, but it's not as easy. And yes, I disturbed the roots pretty well, but it's not like you do a bonsai. All right, now that uh, that's all done, the fun part. So, I definitely have to cut them back. Lost a lot of roots. Uh, you can see that this guy, there it is, this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, we cut the rear. Coming out of one spot. I believe there's a term for that, and it's inverse taper. So I don't know how I'm going to solve that, at least like bonsai-wise. Um, this guy seems to be okay. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll go over them one at a time real quick and probably start hacking and then throw them in some soil. Enjoy. By the way, these things are for mixing mortar. They make great trays for uh, doing bonsai. If you're at like, a club meeting, you don't want to get everything messy. Like three bucks or something. Something ridiculous. You can even drill holes in this. You can make a pot out of it. I haven't yet. I should. Maybe I will. What? The camera. Uh, or myself, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe both. Some crazy roots going on here. Almost kind of cool though. Have a bigger root right here. It comes underneath, it coils back up. Almost like it's wrapping over something. I could uh, put a rock right there. Almost like a root of a rock. I don't know. See where my roots naturally go. Got a pretty good root spread on this one. A wee bit of an inverse taper. It's a big, big, big root. I'll cut it off. I'll have a fair amount of roots left. It's probably the smart thing to do. Looks like it just finally started growing good. We got this huge straight growth. So I'm going to start thinking bonsai terms. Like these, boop, cut them in half. Maybe a little shorter. If I really wanted to go crazy, I could actually make cuttings out of these, but I don't got time for that. Um, there's like almost no chance these won't survive a transplant. At the end, I'll show you a video. Uh, I'll show you uh, one that I have. I dug up in summer, mid heat. It was just getting trampled by the dogs, and it grew back like nothing ever happened. It was pretty impressive. Uh, just dug off. Take some of this pioneer stuff off. Actually, it's all dead right there. It's all dead. 
that's all good. But I kind of I want that to stay. I'm gonna take that off. It's starting to bud pretty well. I hope I'm not doing this too late. And then I think I'm gonna keep that that big twisted root. I don't know. It's just neat to me. And that's half of it, right? Do you like the tree? So, pomegranates clearly are what they call cane bearing. <sighs> so much growth, right? itself a little bit. It's got whacked in the eye. I'm just going to head some of this back. Um, pomegranates are great at back budding, so just nipping all the tips to get it to grow better. Get rid of some early stage bar branches before they get too bad. Myself. All right, here we go. All three potted up real quick. Water them in. Get all that green out. Looks like it's starting to run pretty clear. That's what we're going for. Yeah, we've got some more to go. Neat looking traption, right? So maybe these will be something in the future. Thanks for checking in. Hope you had fun. I know I did. Nothing better than a little tree torture. All right, Bonsai grows out.